so good morning uh, today we'll see what is electrostatic deflection so until now we have seen what is happening uh, in electron gun and then we discussed uh, in detail what is done in focusing anode and uh, and we have seen that if there is no deflection plates with the effect of electron gun reaccelerating anode focusing anode and accelerating anode all the beam the electron beam will hit certainly at the center of the screen and that is evident here also you can see that there is no deflection plates here so any beam at any angle will be converged or they will be collimating into the center portion of the screen so if there is no deflection plate you will always get a bright spot at the center of the screen okay so what if what is the procedure or what are the steps that, that should be taken to have or to move the point or the stylus from the center of screen to any point of the screen so the answer is deflection plates already in the introduction class itself i told that there are two pairs of deflection plate one is vertical deflection plate and the other is the horizontal deflection plate so before going into the details of horizontal and uh, vertical deflection plates we'll see what are the principle what is the theory behind these things so let us take two plates these are the two plates so uh, the potential difference between the two plates is ed that is uh, on, uh, in this textbook unfortunately they have used the word e e is actually universally used for electric field intensity but unfortunately they have used it for voltage here so uh, keep in mind that e here represents voltage and the electric field intensity in this textbook is taken as epsilon okay so this is the uh, voltage existing between the two plates and there are some terms here uh, that is the length of the deflection plate is ld and the, the distance of separation between the plates is small d and uh, uh, from the center of the deflection plate still the screen the length is capital l and then <clears throat> and then if if there is no deflection plates then or the, if there is no voltage applied between the deflection plates certainly the beam of electron will pass and hit the center of the screen otherwise if there is some voltage ed then it will hit at somewhere here so that the distance of deflection is capital D. And then one more thing that should be noted is that, see, here we have X here and here we have Y also. So what is X? Any distance from this point, any distance from this point, it can be from, from this point to this point, it can be X. From this point to this point, it can be X. From this point to this point, it can be X. Or from this point to this point, it can be X. At that time, X is equal to small LD okay so x is a variable in the x direction likewise y is also a variable distance in the y direction so x and y should be taken in that way so and uh, <clears throat> one more thing uh, let the voltage of the pre accelerating anode so voltage of the pre accelerating anode as well as the um, uh, accelerating anode remain the same let it be this is ea it is not e not it is ea it's a mistake and e charge of electron we know that Mass of electron is also known that is 9.1 10 raised to minus 31 kilogram. That is a mass of electron. And what is VOX? VOX is the initial velocity, initial velocity of the electron entering this field. This is a field. So what why it's called a field? We know that electric field intensity or electric field direction will be from positive to negative. And here you can see that it is a uniform electric field. So this electron is entering this uniform electric field with a velocity of v o x why this is v o x the important thing is that before entering this this uh, field electrostatic field provided by the deflection plate this has only velocity and acceleration in the x direction that is if there is no deflection plates it will certainly hit the spot that means the movement is only in the x direction velocity and acceleration components are only in the x direction but after they enter something happens so at this point till this point the velocity of the electron is only in the x direction no velocity in the y direction as well as is a direction that is why it is given as v or x other things i have explained now let us <coughs> go into the derivation so when an electron enters it will lose its potential energy why does it lose potential energy see what is potential energy potential energy is nothing but the work done to bring a charge from infinity to that point so for, for bringing an electron towards a high positive potential does not require any work done it comes as a force of attraction no 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 need to do any work done 
So that is why when the electron enters the electrostatic field of the deflection plates, there is loss of potential energy. But energy as we know it remains constant. But when there is a loss of potential energy, there is a gain in kinetic energy also because acceleration is there. Velocity increases. So loss of potential energy is compensated by the increase in kinetic energy. So uh, till this point, at till this point, till this point, the potential energy and kinetic energy remain the same. After this point, there is loose loss in potential energy and gain in kinetic energy. I hope it is clear for you. Till this point, both remain same. And after that, potential energy decreases. Beyond this point, potential energy decreases and kinetic energy increases. So, what is potential energy here? That is, loss of potential energy is nothing but, we know that potential energy is equal to work done. So, work done by charge is nothing but the voltage. So, work done is nothing but potential energy. Potential energy is equal to charge. That is, the electron is here. So, A is the charge multiplied by Ea. That is the that, that is the voltage, accelerating anode voltage, Ea. That is potential energy, losing potential energy. Because that voltage is actually from the accelerating anode. The actual acceleration is given by the uh, voltage at the accelerating anode. That is why Ea is here. Now, what is kinetic energy? It's a well-known equation, half mv square. And this is the initial velocity at x direction. Now, at the point of entry, from here we can calculate where m is the mass of the electron. And from here we can calculate Vox. That is, from this equation we can get the value for Vox. Now, at the point of entry, what happens? At the point, this is a, so at the point of entry, uh, see. Okay, how do, how do you get this equation? That is, at the point of entry, these two are the same. That is, this one is equal to this one, equating both, and you get this uh, equation for Vox. So, what is electric field intensity? Electric field intensity in general, it is voltage by or electric potential divided by D. So, here, what is the electric potential existing between the deflection plates? That is ED. So, when the electron enters the electric field in the field of an electric field, this is the electric field along the y direction. Why it is mentioned in y direction? That is, see, till that entry point, it was only in the direction of x. The velocity was only, but when it when the electron enters the field of electrostatic field of the deflection plates, what happens is that, see, electron will be having attraction towards the y direction. That is towards the positive plates. So, there is only velocity and acceleration in the y direction. There is no velocity and uh, uh, and uh, uh, x uh, uh, is a direction, uh, y direction and z direction, there is no velocity components, only velocity and acceleration is in y direction. And that is in, in the first, in the last lecture also I have told that when the electron is placed, it moves uh, opposite to the electric field lines. Or if it is a positive test charge, it moves along the direction of electric field line. So here, when an electron enters the field along the x direction, after it enters, it, it has attracted it get attracted towards the y direction that is why electric field y component is given here and what is the force if you know the force if you know the electric field electric field multiplied by that charge the charge is e here it gives the force so the force of attraction towards the y direction is nothing but y direction is nothing but uh, e e y if you substitute for e y we get uh, e capital e d by small uh, uh, by D. So, this is what you get the force in the y direction. Likewise, if you know force, what is the component of acceleration in y direction? This is the force equation M A. A Y is the component. So, what is A Y? A Y is equal to E uh, electric field in the y direction divided by M, where M is the mass of the electron. Okay. Now, going in detail with the with other uh, terms, see, uh, we know this, this is a well-known equation. That is, there is no initial velocity in the y direction. Why there is no, there is no, there is, there is, there is only, only initial velocity in the x direction. There is no initial velocity in the y direction. So, initial velocity in the y direction is 0. So, we, this is a well known equation. S is equal to uh, ut plus half at square. So, initial velocity v o uh, v uh, in the in the y direction is 0. So, this is half at square. So, half as it, as it, as the motion is taking place in the y direction, acceleration component a y t square. And we know what is Ay from the previous equation, substituting the value for Ay here, we get this equation. Now, as the velocity in the x direction is constant, there is no increase in velocity, so acceleration is 0. The displacement in x direction is given by, so what is the displacement? That is, <coughs> x is equal to, uh, uh, that is, uh, uh, s is equal to ut plus half at square. So, 
the initial velocity in this direction is nothing but what uh, it is ut that is v o x into t that is half a t square a is 0 for index in the x direction because velocity is constant. So from here t is equal to x by v o x and substituting the value of t in this in this equation we get y is equal to half uh, e epsilon y by m v o x square x square. Now what is this is equation of a parabola these things are constant. Uh, and y is directly proportional to x square. So, this is the equation of a parabola. Now, if you want to find the slope, so what is a slope? Slope is nothing but uh, dy by dx. Find the first order derivative, you get this one. Okay. Now, when x is equal to ld, that is the total distance in the deflection place, that is x equal to ld, uh, x equal to ld, we can substitute it here. We get the value for tan theta s. So, this is tan theta. So this is my tan theta. Uh, that is, y is equal to <clears throat> if I if I substitute uh, uh, if I substitute for uh, x here for as l d. This is what I get. So tan theta is equal to this thing I get. Okay. So this is a dy by dx is nothing but tan theta. So that is the deflection or the orientation of the electron b. Now, <clears throat> see. One thing is one thing that, that that should be noted is that see if I so till this point the equation the equation of parabola holds good till this point till this point till the end of the influence of the deflection plate afterwards till this point there is an orientation given by the deflection electric field after that after leaving this field the orientation or the electron beam continues in straight line keeping the orientation constant that is the theta is con theta is kept the angle is obeyed and after that after that influence of electric field ends the electron beam goes in a straight line it goes in a straight line so equation of parabola holds good here only after that it remains constant and that is why you get a deflection here now if I draw, so this is a straight line. So if I continue this straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, and go this here, it becomes a tangent to this parabola. This straight line becomes a tangent to the parabola, and incidentally, this tangent intersect the x-axis at a point here that is known as O dash. The tangent extended intersect the x-axis at a point O dash. So we'll we will continue the derivation. So that is mentioned tangent intersects at the x axis at point o dash. The location of this point is given by, so again, we know y by x is nothing but tan theta. So, tan theta we know uh, that is uh, y also we know. We substitute the values for y and tan theta, we'll get as x is equal to ld by 2. So, what is the influence? What is the inference from ld by 2? We can say that the tangent intersect the x axis exactly at the middle point of the deflection point deflection plates that is ld by 2 at the center of the deflection plate the tangent intersects now last point what is the deflection capital d capital d deflection is nothing but see if i take this whole as a triangle this whole as a triangle what is tan theta it is y by x y is d here and x is l here so that is taken here so uh L is L, tan theta we can substitute we have got the value for tan theta this is my tan theta uh, equation I substituted that and uh, from my initial equation I uh, I know what is VOX squared it's already there uh, we have derived we have seen that so from that you substitute the VOX here so instead of VOX we can substitute this one here so for that we'll get the value for capital D so here we can see that D is equal to this much equation so L remains constant LD remains constant, 2 is a constant, capital D is a constant, acceleration potential EA that is 1500 volt is again a constant. So we can see that D is directly proportional to ED. So it's a linear relationship. So the deflection cost is linearly dependent on the deflection potential ED. So that, that is one thing. So if I keep ED constant, I'll get the constant deflection. So linear as it's a linear relationship, if I vary the value of ed then the deflection also linearly vary along with the deflection potential that is a very important point okay so this is the theory and the basics behind the deflection system okay thank you